Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. And what we're gonna talk about today is a question that came from Discord. Um, the difference, or which is better, or lists and dictionaries. So, great question, and this is why it's so important to make sure you're hitting that uh, button down below and joining over on Discord, because these are the type of things that we're talking about over there, and I thought it was so good that we needed to talk about it here on the main channel and really trying to get back into a groove and really just make sure we're plugging forward here along with uh, the other things that I got going. So, all right, super great question. So I want to say uh, thank you for that. So first of all, uh, what I want you to think about is a list. I, I describe it, well, one, they're two different objects. So they have different functions and it's like thinking about which is better a saw or a hammer well if you need to saw things the saw if you need to cut things in half the saw is better if you need to join things together a hammer is better but it really depends on the tool uh on the on the issue that you have but this is how i want you to think about it a list is like a box you can place things into it you can take things out you can rearrange it, you can look at it, so then you can test to see if an item is in there. You can see how many are in there, um, and then you can find out if it's in there or not, and rearrange it, where now, on the contrary, and th th this is actually a, this is a great example right here, as you can see, and this is from uh, our wonderful moderator. And um, so, now, a dictionary. This is how I want you to think about a dictionary. It's like a filing cabinet. Still, you can put stuff in it, but you can organize it to the way that you want to. And one of the best examples, and also, this is you can go and look at specific things, and it's a key value pair. So one of the things that I love about it is you can take the key, search for the value associated with it, and you can add any type you could have any type of object associated with it. Another dictionary, a list, just an integer. Um, but when you think about a dictionary, it can be a filing cabinet and you can go through. But one of the perfect examples that I've come up with for a dictionary is there are times that you're not going to know how many variables or how much input you're going to have or get in general. So you can go through and set up in that function to have the key be a limitless number of variables and go through. That's one of the unbelievably powerful uses that I have found in my time using Python. But I thought this was a great question and video worthy and really kind of getting me back in the routine. So let's make sure we're hitting down below uh, the subscribe button, notification bell, and join in the Discord because uh, we are having a lot of activity over there. And make sure you're staying tuned until the end to watch these videos because this is 8.50 now, 8.60. I, I lose track. But I want to tell you guys thank you very much. Going to get back into a routine. Um, really getting close on an announcement for everybody here and the awesome support. But I just want to say thank you. Stay tuned. and We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.